welcome to day three on Allure of the Seas. If you're new here, we are cruising with Autism on the Seas. We are volunteering for this cruise. We're going to show you a lot today of what Allure of the Seas has to offer and a little bit of some Autism on the Seas. But first, we are heading up to breakfast. Yeah. So, let's go see what the Windjammer has. Probably the same same thing every same morning. Same thing for breakfast all the time. But it is pretty good. Lots yeah. of options, lots of choices. So let's yeah. go. And I did see the sun peeking out. Yes. So that's exciting. Okay. So it's a nice day. Everybody is using this bonus sea day to sleep in. It's so slow. I'm not complaining, but wow. I'm not the only one wrapped in a towel. Hi, Erin. Hello. Erin, why did we come to Florida to be wrapped in towels? I don't know. Second time. I don't know. We need to go somewhere different next time. Yeah. <laughs> cool time. And there, there. Super warm day we're having. It is windy and pretty chilly. There's a lot of people in the hot tubs. Um, okay. It is now 9.42 and I am changed out of my orange. Like I said, I'm a one-on-one, -on -one, so I basically do um, what my family wants. So I don't really follow the same general schedule as what the other volunteers and families do. So my family ended up going back to their cabin just for a little bit of rest. So I am now off until respite time, which is at... 4.45 we have a meeting respites at 5 o'clock so I'm going to go around possibly start the ship tour that's always our plan to do on our staff day off usually the ship is at port on our staff day off so it's a lot quieter of a ship but I'm sure the ship is going to be very busy today so I will wander around get a little bit of footage and then Rachel should be done in about 45 minutes and then I think our plan, because the sun is out, is to go enjoy the pool. Hopefully the wind dies down and it gets a little bit warmer. But, I mean, again, not complaining. We're still on a cruise ship and we're still having an amazing time, no matter what the weather is. I didn't make it very far into the ship tour before I decided I should get some breakfast. So this is my little breakfast here in the Solarium Cafe. So I actually changed my mind about doing a ship tour because the ship is just way too busy to walk around with my camera today so I am meeting Rachel here at the beach pool somewhere she said that she has pool chairs again the ship is really busy so I am surprised that she has chairs for us just woke up from a nap and look what I found it's not often that I do but it's pretty good when you're chilling on the pool all right it is warm finally sweaters are off we're in our bathing suits and the sun is out Oh, we lucked so out with the weather today. Finally! I was a little worried this morning. <laughs> Me too, especially having Nassau canceled. We thought the weather was going to be pretty We looked wild. super close to some part of the Bahamas. Freeport. Freeport, oh. okay. So I think we're just kind of staying still in the middle of the ocean. But that helps the weather situation. Rachel is currently napping. I got a little bit hungry and I was planning on going to El Loco Fresh, but the line was way too long, so I'm just gonna stop in here to the wind jammer real quick. Grab a little food. just left our pool chairs and now we're gonna go get some content hopefully and then head to shower it's really loud and here's the DJ 
We have made it to the sun deck, which in order to get here, you go to the front of the ship, down one flight of stairs from deck 15, so you're on deck 14 now. Walk through the hallway and you will find this. So we're gonna head outside, it looks pretty windy, so you probably won't be able to hear us. I had no idea this existed. Yeah, usually it is just a flight of stairs that are in the solarium that you can yeah. kind of go out and, and it's just like go that on. Little... But, right. but usually it's really pretty. Yeah, I think it's just when it's too windy, maybe they close it. Update, it's not even that windy out here. So there is the solarium up one deck, deck 15. And here's the little sun deck. Looks like usually they'll have deck chairs out here, but we did have a windy morning, so maybe they just didn't even put them out at all today. But look how beautiful. back to our room and the anchors away parade is just starting we can hear it from deck nine and you can kind of see all of the cast members going up there we have about 20 minutes until our respite meeting and it is dinner respite tonight so we have respite from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. and then we get to eat after so Rich and I are on the hunt for a quick coffee and maybe a snack and then we'll head down to the respite room again I decided on a little salad and some coffee what I didn't show was Rachel's snack. She already ate it. That was quick. Rachel had, I think, two cookies and also an ice latte. I don't want to put it out there, but I've been feeling a little sick. So this was actually my lunch and my pre dinner. Did you eat breakfast this morning? I didn't even see you. Okay. I actually had a really good appetite for breakfast, but and that's when we didn't realize this was coffee, but as the day got. I'm surprised that this is your first time ever getting possibly seasick. Possibly. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe just something you ate yesterday. Who yeah, knows? But uh, I get they get the cookies now, so I'll take it. We have a three hour rest to do. And then we have dinner at 8 30. So yeah. Oh! Quest. Oh quest yeah, we high. haven't mentioned that yet tonight, but it is the quest tonight at 10.15, so again, another busy night. We have made it to the conference center. Three hour respite, let's go! Are we ready? <laughs> Dinner respite is now complete. So we actually only have one more respite, which is tomorrow night, which is crazy. Four night cruises, again, go so quick. But we only have we, about 10 minutes. We have an exciting night. Yes. Our group leader was able to get some reservations for the specialty dining. Which, but we only have 10 minutes to go get yes. changed and get we've ready never, for that. We've never done specialty dining, so I'm so excited. And we're going to Samba Grill tonight. So, okay. Yes. That's where we're going. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm starving. Nine. It is 8.29. We're on our way up. And if we weren't called twins and at this cruise, we decided to both wear white, so. Oh yeah. Let's see. Five, I didn't really five, think five, about five that. People yeah. Ask. We're twins tonight. Also, That's I did get thing. quite the burn on my arm here this morning. I fell asleep in the sun. Don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh, what's going on now? Headed to the solarium, which is where Samba Grill is. So we will show you everything that we get to eat tonight. If you can't tell, we're excited. We're excited. We actually have mm -hmm. never done a specialty dining restaurant here on Royal Caribbean, other than Coastal Kitchen that I've had this week. Royal, um, that's the first time. Yeah, Royal gave um, us five spots, so we were pulling names out of a hat, and we just got lucky from the volunteers, so. Yes. We are going to enjoy some, I think, steak. Lots of different. Lots, lots of meat, meat lots I believe. Yeah, let's go, let's go, we're here. I assume that Rach might even post this on our Instagram. So if you don't already follow us, at the Cruising Sisters, you're missing out on all of our stories and our posts. That we post during the cruise. Yes. Right. Head on in. Be 
beef and cucumber salad, Brazilian slaw, chicken salad, this is good, baby mozzarella cherry, tomatoes, potato salad, ooh, the asparagus look good too. Wow. Tuna salad. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna grab a plate and then get some food. favorite show of the entire cruise. Actually, the only show that we've made it to so far this right. cruise, I think. That's right. Uh, so Studio B, let's go. My name is Milch. And see your crazy questions. We did it in time, so we're out. Tiffany and I strip at the Coliseum. <laughs> Day three, and for some reason, today was our day off from what do we have? 10:30 to almost five off, and yet we're still exhausted. Still exhausted. Naps Two at the naps pool. Naps later. Yes. Nap in the room. Um, but we are even calling it early. It's 11:30, I believe. Um, 11 11:40. 40, 40. Yeah. yeah. Quest was hilarious. Oh, let's actually backtrack to dinner. I think we touched on it a little bit. Incredible. However, the meat that does not stop coming, and we did not stop eating. You so have to stop yourself. Stop if you're yourself. Go there. Yeah, we are. Oh my gosh, we're still stuffed. Still like, stuffed. We uncomfortably. Should have done a full. walk around the top deck. That yeah. would have been smart. Would you say that oh. paying extra for a specialty dining restaurant is worth it? It depends on the restaurant. I honestly don't know if I would go back to that restaurant. Mm -hmm. It was delicious, but I. Like, the salad was like a buffet part, the dessert was like a buffet part, and I kind of wanted to do like a. I like the full sit down meal. Yeah, Would you I agree? feel like maybe if we did Giovanni's table yes. or Chops Grill or something, yes. maybe we would have had a different experience. But um, this dinner for two people would come to $89. Um, yeah, I, so, I mean, it's about you, $45 each person. So, I yeah. guess that's kind of. And if you go hungry enough, you could definitely get your money. Yeah, I it agree. Was, the meat was incredible. Like the steak was very good. Yeah. Um, so you could, it's easy to get your money's worth. Um, 
but you also have to take into consideration you're also missing a main dining room meal that that's true. in your cruise fare you you kind of paid for so lots of things to think about but we'd recommend it especially if you've done royal caribbean quite a bit you know the menus do not change and so it's nice to switch it up once mm -hmm. in a while so we headed to the quest we cannot miss a quest no matter how tired <laughs> we are no matter how late it is we cannot miss a quest and again did not disappoint it was so funny this was like a funny one it, it was good um i do feel like we've seen a whole lot of quests and a lot of the crazy quests yeah and a lot of the questions are usually the same and yeah. it all depends on how the audience is acting and how they react to the questions and that kind of thing cruise director also has a big effect. yes yeah for sure and i do kind of feel like this was a tamer one absolutely but yeah. it was hilarious yeah it was, it was, it was still it was very funny. very good yeah. yeah not as crazy but funny we got clips we put those in um what did we do after that oh the mat automatically turns into club red which is a really good little um transition because they get everybody on the dance floor then everybody has to stay on the dance floor for the beginning of club red so it was packed mm -hmm. it quickly um died out but i think it was because it was only 11 like i can see it getting really busy we again. walked through the casino afterwards just yeah. to get back to our cabin and that's where everybody was yeah the casino is packed yeah. tonight so but the dj is yeah. pretty good on this ship so i wouldn't have i don't have any doubts that it's probably starting to get busy again but we are done we're calling it a night tomorrow everybody cross your fingers we are stopping in coco k today was a bonus sea day i don't know if we mentioned it mm -hmm. we were supposed to be in nasa um so this is our bonus sea day because of the weather so crossing our fingers that the we, weather is okay tomorrow to yes. dock at Coco K because if you watched Liberty last um, last cruise playlist when we were volunteering with AOTS, we skipped we missed, Coco K. We missed Coco but K. we made it to Nassau, yeah. so hopefully that this cruise is flip flopped. Flip -flopped. Yeah, yeah. And we do know of a cruise ship the other day that had to leave early for, or tried to leave early from Coco K. But that's not going to be us. We're going. We're going to have a full day there. So please be sure if you have not already liked and subscribed so you can catch the rest of our Allure of the Seas cruise vlogs. We also have the ship tour coming, the room tour. Um, so please stick around. And we also have many more cruises coming up in the very near future. So you are not going to want to miss those.